What are you flying today, Matthew? Astro Hog. What engine you got in that? Uh, Bluehead 6 Super Tank. 78, 79. Now that's a kit build? Yep. Sig makes that, right? Yeah, my first one that I had had a uh, four stroke in it, and I definitely think that it's better than the two stroke. About how long would it take to build a kit like that? About a, about a week to get it probably all framed up and maybe. It's all uh, die cut, ink parts is pretty easy. Now I know that this isn't your first one, but if I'm not mistaken, this is the first plane you had getting into the hobby, wasn't it? Yep. Now would you suggest it for a trainer or no? Probably a good first, or a second plane, huh? Yeah. My first one originally had a KMD 48 in it. Then I put a Magnum uh, 70 force Now, do you think Sig does a pretty good job with their kids, or? Yeah, they're still doing it old school, die cut and stuff. Nineteen fifty seven Astro Hog. One of the early pylon planes. What do you always call it? The original pattern ship. Never got any of them to uh, flat spin. You think that one would? It would get into it. I don't think it would do it though. They fly just as good upside down as they do right side up. Now, just for the guys watching, uh, what what engine range is on this? Probably 40 to 60 or 60 to 90? Uh, I think they said uh, 40 to 60, I think. I think it's 60 to 90 to, uh, horsepower. If you had to compare it to something, what would you compare it to? Maybe like a spacewalker? Probably, yeah, I'm probably a close one for it. Can we do a little touch and go? Sure. And what is the cost of the kit? I bought it for you and I don't even remember what it is. Uh, I think it's like 120 something maybe. Floats forever. Doesn't even it has dihedral, but not a whole lot, but it still floats pretty good. Tracks really good in the loop. Get it up to the top like that and just let her back off a bit.
here we're sitting with Matthew for a little pilot's debrief. What, uh, on a scale of one to ten, what would you give the Sig uh, Astro Hog kit? This is a uh, ten for sure. Solid ten, you say? Solid ten. Uh, what they don't really have you do in the kit is make it dual ailerons. They want you to do torque rods. My first one, I believe, was torque rods. The second one, I put two servos in it because you can. There's enough room in there to put paper tubes in the wing and run your extension and make a nice servo box. But it handles a lot better with two servos than it does with torque rods. You get a lot more throw that way. Okay, so what are the pros of the uh, of the kit? It's obviously pretty well priced for what you get. Yeah, it's, uh, they give you, uh, I think, five sixteenth square push rods to the tail, so they ain't going to flex. You have uh, your music wire that goes inside of them, you wrap them with thread, thin CA them, and they're not going to flex like the plastic rods do at all. Okay, they're good solid rods. Are there any cons to it? Anything that you would do different? You already brought up the uh, ailerons. No, uh, my first one was uh, tail dragger. This one here I made nose gear. All depends on what kind of field you have. It works good both ways, but if you have a long grassy field, you're probably going to want to do it nose gear. It has the tendency to the tip. Okay. Uh, the whole front of that is big block balsa. You just shape it to their line. Uh, the only thing that was kind of tricky to do was the hood piece and the turtle deck because they give you two halves. Whenever you overlap them, you have to trim the center so they fold in together and make a good seam. That was the only part on there that was kind of difficult, but it still isn't too hard. Okay. I mean, it definitely looks like it flies nice and looks like a real nice airplane. So you'd suggest it to anybody and you think that the price is 120? It's yeah, 123 someplace in there. Okay. Know. I'll have to put the uh, link for the kit <laughs> in the description below the video here, but uh, Matthew says it's a good plane. It's usually a pretty good plane, so I think you guys should definitely check out the Astro Hog kit from Sig. Here's the original one. It had, I believe, three engines in it. Probably hundreds of thousands of hours. Decided we hang her up before something happened to her, and... plenty of flights but yeah if you guys are interested in the uh, SIG Astro Hog kit I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and uh, if you guys would like to see a build video or something like that let us know so thanks a lot uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and if you subscribe don't forget to hit the uh, notification bell next to it thanks see ya